Well, hello. It is Wednesday, February 7th. It is about almost 11 a.m. in the morning. Um, yep, it is double sale day with Jen and our guest, Sabrina. Uh, Simon, sell, Simon says, let's make a deal. And Faye. Hi, Faye. Hello, Faye. She's busy. <laughs> She just woke up from a nap. I was upstairs. Um, I've been getting some stuff done around the house. I had a snack. Um, I haven't, actually, I haven't gotten them a snack. They haven't let me know that they're ready for a snack, except this one right now. Uh, so that will be next on the agenda. Uh, I have postage done for my one package that's going out today. I have... Um, so I've got everything ready over here for the afternoon sale. So I've got all that selected. I was um, cleaning some jewelry. Uh, I had um, some just really bad looking jewelry. Um, most of it came out looking fantastic. Uh, some of it, no, it's going in the crafting jewelry stack, but it was worth trying one more time to see if I could um, get it to look good. Um, in this case, I was using my, here, I'm gonna flip this. I have a cleaner and uh, I do use that from time to time, uh, kind of depending on the jewelry. Uh, but the ones I had today were just um, a metal, silver tone metal that just looked a little dingy. And so uh, I cleaned that up, it came out looking nice. And those are going to be coming up in <laughs> upcoming sales. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the morning sale. Uh, we bring 10 items. I actually brought 11 items because one of the items I had was choice. So that was 11 items. I sold six of the 11 items. So five items are still available. Ooh, let me not blinding you with that light behind me. And let's go ahead and take a look at the five items that are still available. I have this little boy and girl figurine. Uh, she has, let me, let me flip that angle there. She has a little squirrel. He has a little dog. It is hard to tell. They are very, very pastel colored. Um, ooh, where is that light? There. So he has light yellow overalls and a little cookie. And then she has, ooh, don't look at my, my dirty table there. I got to clean that off. <laughs> that's my, that's my horrible new catch-all spot. Uh, the pink the really, really cute pink. Now there is writing on the bottom. I have not, um, as we've gotten some great suggestions today. Yes, I usually do try to use some rubbing alcohol on permanent marker like that. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I'll see if that, that comes out. Uh, that little pair is uh, $8. This one is really fun. I, I didn't even know this was a collection. The UN Children, Inga from Iceland, hand-painted porcelain, Franklin Porcelain 1983, crafted in Korea. And Inga, she's got ice skates on. And she's got a pony. How fun is that? So she is a little bigger of a figurine. She's, she's a good size. I'll get in so you can see her cute face. And Inga is $10. I know, and everybody's new favorite sport of um, ice skating with ponies. Isn't that cute? Uh, let's see. Oh, the pink depression glass bowl. This has a beautiful, like, fluted edge. Looks like a flower. It really looks like a flower. And then it's got this great ribbing optic on the side. Beautiful pink depression glass. And that is uh, $8 for the bowl. 
a Studio Nova. This is a four and a half inch votive, the floral lace pattern. And, um, oops, let me turn it this way. This one was made in Japan. It's got a little, ooh, there we go, little mark there, made in Japan. Any other important information? Oh, the measurement in centimeters. But I will show you what that one looks like. So that is a beautiful one in the box. Great looking votive. Oops, that's slipping out of my hand. And uh, that one is, oops, let me get the, the edge up there. That's hard to do one-handed sometimes. There, quickly, quickly, before those fold back down. Uh, that is $8 for the candle holder. And then I have this group of keys. Yep, a really fun miscellaneous group of keys. There's some small keys. Uh, there's definitely some older keys in here. So a really fun collection for the crafters out there. Some really unusual looking keys. And that baggie is $6. $6 for the whole baggie of keys. Um, all right, so those are the five items that are still available. Uh, let's take a look at what's sold. And I have this Studio Nova. This one is the Winter's Eve pattern. And it has little uh, trees. Let me get it in here so you can see. Little trees with stars on top all around. Very pretty design. A log cabin, vintage log cabin. Bottle with the laundry sprinkler on top. Uh, this little Christmas cookie plate that says, This plate has no true owner for it is meant to be passed around to both family and friends. Please enjoy these yummy treats first, and then when you are through, refill and pass along to someone new. I had these two tins, uh, strawberries and cherries. Uh, this one's vintage. I got it as clean as I could. This one was Department 56. And then this was a, a Walmart bottle, but look how cute it is with the Bumblebee stickers on there. That is adorable. So fun to use as a water bottle, or um, I was thinking you could put little fairy lights in that, and, uh, and that would be really, really cute. Um, all right, so those are the six items that sold. Uh, let me flip the camera around. Okay, I'm actually up by the front door where my package is that's heading out. It's a, it's a petite package today. Let me show it right there. That little petite package is going to be going out today. I have, I think, oh, I counted 12, 13. Now I can't remember if it's 12 or 13 uh, packages up in my holding area. And I will keep monitoring the my email for payments. And if I get payments in either before the sale starts or before the uh, mail carrier gets here, uh, it is currently, yep, it's 11 o'clock, which means I have until 1 o'clock my time. So I still have two hours, almost two hours, well, Really, I need to get another snack in <laughs> or, or a lunch. Um, and I need to get the cats some food. So, okay, we're looking at like an hour and a half now. Hour and a half before the next sale. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some stuff done since I do already have my items picked out for the sale. I am going to clear off the table and move the afternoon items over and get them ready for the sale. But I am going to have a little time, and yes, I do already have a project in mind. I do have um, a one person's items all ready to go into a box, but it, it's going to take a couple of boxes. 
to put their stuff in so that it'll arrive safely and I can put some nice packing materials around them. Uh, so I am going to start working on that project and see if I can get that done. Uh, that'll be nice to get that one, um, that out the door. And on its way, I, I love it, getting it out and in the mail and on its journey. Because uh, USPS is doing pretty good with their delivery times for this new ground advantage. Really, really happy that um, it's it's really just a few days um, that things are getting kind of even across the country. It's amazing. So uh, so that's exciting. Um, all right. That, I think, gets, gets you up to date on what's going on. Um, so if I get more um, more payments in, I'll show you those boxes that go out. Um, otherwise, yeah, I am going to be um, doing the table and packing some boxes. So I will check in with you again probably after the afternoon sale. All right, well, it's about 45 minutes uh, after the end of the second sale uh, with Sabrina and Jen, and I have I've gotten the table all organized uh, so we can talk about what's sold and what is still available. I've uh, done a little dinner prep. I got Joe some more food. <laughs> he ate the food that I gave him uh, before I started the sale, uh, but he still wanted a little more. So I got him a little more food. Um, I, I need to fill the snack station because Faye was up there looking for her snacks and there wasn't any, but, uh, but she had some food, so um, some wet food. So she was good. Uh, so for the afternoon sale, um, we brought 10 items again. And this time I brought 10 items. Um, I sold one. I sold one of the items today, so the remainder of the items are still available. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let me flip the camera. Uh, so the one item that sold was the Light Up Easter Tree. This thing's pretty awesome with all of its fiber optics, multiple colors. Uh, so I am so glad that one sold. Uh, but the items that I still have available... Uh, we'll start with this vase. You can see it's clear at the top. It goes down to a darker blue. It has these um, really cool green stripes on it. A nice kind of fan top. Yeah, like a little fan top. This is hand blown and it is eight inches tall and that is $10. Uh, the blue one, that is 11 inches tall for that vase. This one is cased in clear. Let's see, there is the pontal on the bottom. I don't think I showed. There's the pontal on the bottom of that one. Uh, the blue one is 11 inches tall and it is $12. I have these really cool keys. Now this is an old ad for Grand Prix beer. Oh, that is so hard to see. It is dated, oh, this one is the one that side that's not in English. This side was in English, it's dated 1952. And then we've got some old keys, a couple of skeleton keys on here old lock keys and I really liked this one master key where is it oh here because it has a lion yeah it's got a lion on it that one's really neat so that was ten dollars for the set um, Easter postcards this batch of antique Easter postcards features angels there are uh, seven, seven of the Easter postcards. And these are $12 for the set of seven. So $12 for those. Uh, this is a beautiful piece. 
sandwich glass. It is a huge rectangular shaped bowl. Uh, the bowl is on a pedestal. Beautiful sandwich glass and it is in fantastic condition. This is $20. Uh, the purple vase, this one is from a mold and I do believe Westmoreland is the maker of this one. Uh, that is $30 and it is nine inches tall. The light up Easter tr uh, basket. Uh, so the ears light up, the butterflies light up, there are fiber optics by the flowers and the Easter sign lights up. Uh, that is $20 for the basket. Uh, this couple, um, they look very Chinese to me. Um, one of the viewers thought that maybe they were Himalayan uh, wedding figures. They are gorgeous in their detail. And they are quite tall. They are eight inches tall. So they are very tall figurines. And they are 25 for the set. And then I have this little fishing fella. His body is made out of wood. He has tags that show in 1994 he was retired. His name is Edward Bowman. 1994 and originally he was 78.50 for his price. He's got a little pail of worms. He's got some feathers in his cap. And then down here, we've got his fishing basket with a little fish coming out and the little cat trying to get the fish. And he is, oh gosh, he's taller than eight inches. Let's see, he's taller than Taller, he's a probably 10 inches tall. He's almost as tall as that vase. So 10 inches tall, and he is $25. All right, so that is everything that is still available. And if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, uh, feel free to either send me an email or leave a comment uh, below on the video. All right, I'm going to found. Uh, so I'm going to take my one item that sold. <laughs> I'm going to take it upstairs. Um, I did get the project I was working on in between sales done. So yay, that was a that was a good sized project and I am happy to have gotten that done. And I am now going to then clear the rest of the table. The items that didn't sell, they're staying down here so I can access them easily and or bring them to a future sale. Um, I do need to uh, think about while I'm eating dinner, because I am going to fix some dinner now. I didn't have lunch today. I ran out of time. Uh, so I am going to have an early dinner, which will be part dinner, part lunch. And uh, then I'm going to think about what I'm going to be bringing to tomorrow's sale, the lunchtime sale. Uh, so I will get that taken care of. And then I will spend the rest of the evening doing some packing and invoicing. Um, yeah, I think that is going to wrap it up for today. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow.